Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're doing a video like none other on the channel, mainly because I thought this topic was going to be very, very boring and no one's going to want to watch it. But I did just blow £250 on this thing, so I feel like I need to make at least some of that money back. And also today we're trying out something completely new on the channel and that is filming on my own. And already I feel very, very lonely and I've only been doing it for five minutes. Oh, what a sad Charles I am. For years now I've been putting up with an old desk chair, which I think has actually done me more bad than good. So I've really been waiting for an opportunity to give it the send off that it deserves. And that's been thrown straight into a skip. Roll the clip. Introducing Scrapstool, an office chair designed with your discomfort in mind. Featuring worn in upholstery, complete with ground in dirt for that found by the roadside aesthetic. Scrapstool's ergonomic armrest manipulates the movement of your body, twisting your spine in ways only the dodgiest chiropractors know how. Its sleek, unpadded metal frame massages your shoulder blades by applying pressure directly to the bone, relieving you of all positive vibes and motivation to live. Combined with near non-existent back support, you will be writhing in pain in no time. Feeling comfortable yet? Good! Take a load off with our half-assed recline feature. Just pull the underside lever and... No, just, like, pull it. Like, really yank it. Come on, put your back into it. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the soothing sounds of Scrapstool's patent-pending, rage-inducing squeaks and creaks. So yeah, TLDR. It's a pretty bad chair. So finally I splashed out and bought myself a brand new high quality gaming chair, which will hopefully solve all my back problems and actually make me want to edit for five to eight hours a week, rather than just sitting there in complete pain, which suffice to say, is not a very good time. So today we're gonna to be unboxing and trying out the... You know what, stuff it. I'm gonna film this video in the living room. Yeah, come here you New chair! I really don't like filming videos in the living room because I think it looks a bit messy compared to our neat studio setup. But the studio is quite small, so it's really hard to get this sort of stuff in there. But maybe if we got more supporters on Patreon, we could get a bigger studio. Just a thought. Anyway, enough chit chat, let's get on with the unboxing. So this chair right here is part of the Epic series by Noble Chairs, and they're known for three different series of chairs. They've got the Icon and the Hero as well. All three of them look fantastic, but the Epic series kind of just had everything that I needed. And this is the faux leather black and gold version, and you can pick this thing up in real leather, but I'm vegan, I know, what a surprise. So the faux leather version it is. And I picked black and gold because I thought it sounded fancy, and that's literally all I was going off. I just want to sit on something that looks expensive for once in my life. Do not use a box cutter. Then what do I use? Ah, oh, Guitar Hero, you've done it again. So in the box, we've got the top of the chair and then a load of different parts. Honestly, when I picked up this thing, I was really hoping someone would just deliver it built and I could just roll it into my living room and I would be good to go. But nope, what have I got myself into? I just wanted a chair. So also in here, we've got the legs or whatever you call these things. I'm gonna call them legs because I don't know how else to call them. Noble chairs, headrest, back support, box of accessories. And then the part that goes on the bottom of the chair, which I think handles like suspension and stuff like that. I'm really not sure but I'll correct myself in the edit. Ikea style instructions, but somewhat fancy. Ooh, feel that smooth gloss. Couple of snacks, and arguably the most important part of the chair, the part you put your butt on. Ugh. Let's get the parts organized and start building this thing. After unpacking that massive box, we don't actually have all that many parts. We've got the back of the chair, we've got the seat itself with the armrests already attached, wheels and a few extra accessories. We've got the thing that goes on the bottom, which I'm still not sure what actually cool. And that's literally it. So I don't think it's actually going to be that hard of a build. Before getting started, it suggests one, reading the instructions and two, having two people present. Hmm. Not a good start. Well, luckily, everything that you need is supplied. So it's got an Allen key slash screwdriver and it's got all the nuts and bolts that you're gonna need. I'm not gonna try and blast through this. Ah, 
And just like that, the chair is complete. I am absolutely chuffed with the way this thing looks. It looks so good. And it might just be because this is my first ever gaming chair, but looking at the other ones online, they can look a bit over the top, maybe a bit garish from time to time. Whereas this one looks quite sophisticated. The black and the gold is a great combination. I think it looks really smart. And overall, from an aesthetic point of view, I'm very happy with my purchase. But what's most important is how comfortable this thing is. Get myself prepped, get myself in position. That right there is pretty comfy. For my first time sitting on this chair, I will say that the seat does feel a bit stiff on the padding, but I have heard online that it does loosen up over time, which I think is a good thing. I think it just means that it's gonna be more durable for longer. If you've got a seat and it started off soft and squishy from the get-go, you know it's only gonna get worse from there. But despite that, it does still feel quite comfortable. I don't feel any discomfort down there, which is great. With my old chair, it was like sitting on bricks, which just killed my tailbone, which was just the most uncomfortable feeling. The attachable back support cushion feels firm, but squishy. So so it gives you enough support without feeling uncomfortable. After going from literally no back support to this thing, feels fantastic. Also one major thing I've noticed, there's no squeaking at all. Like literally none, which is such a novelty to me. I'm just so used to hearing squeaks. Oh, this is fantastic. The arms on this thing are ever so slightly padded. They've got like a squidgy rubber on them, which does feel quite comfortable on your forearms. And they're also 4D adjustable, which basically means you can move them in four different ways. Side to side, up and down, and backwards and forwards. I will say that the movement on the arms is a bit stiff. It's kind of clunky. It would have been really nice if the movement was smoother, but I'm just happy to have a chair with arms that move to begin with. It doesn't really matter to me if it's smooth or not. Chances are I'm just gonna find a position which I find comfortable and it's gonna stay like that and that's fine by me. Now as you would expect this chair does recline but I currently have it locked so it's not going anywhere but if I just unlock it with the lever down here uh, that that right there that's a decent recline. Oh god I've never had a chair this comfortable. Now this is a pretty decent recline but we can do better. With this little lever down here we can pull that and the back uh, oh, oh it's like I'm in a bed. I thought laying down this far in a chair would be really uncomfortable but this is nice. <laughs> really nice. I think if it wasn't for the head cushion, this would feel maybe a bit uncomfortable, but with the cushion, I, I could sleep here. This could be my new bed. And back up. How far does it actually go? Oh, 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 it goes, oh, it goes quite far. <laughs> If you're out there and you like sitting like this, this chair's got your back. The material on this chair is perforated, so it breathes quite well, so you're not gonna get a sweaty back while sitting on it. And it feels really premium. And they've even got like a suede-like material on the sides here, which looks really nice. It's a good contrast between the kind of shiny faux leather and the matte suede look. I like it, I like it a lot. I will say that the branding on this chair isn't exactly subtle. You've got a logo on the head cushion, you've got a metal one on the back, you've got one across the back support, and you've even got one on the seat itself just here. So if you're buying this chair you better like the logo because you're going to be seeing it a lot and the overall look of the chair is kind of reminiscent to the sort of thing that you would see in a high class sports car which i didn't think i was going to be too much of a fan of i thought it was going to be a bit too flashy i wanted something a bit more subtle but after seeing it in the flesh it doesn't look too over the top now there is a more premium version of this chair on the market called the black edition and they've basically improved certain parts of the chair by replacing plastic with metal so it's more durable and they changed out the material for one that's even more breathable it doesn't even need to be perforated and it's breathable Seems great, but from what I need right now, it seemed a bit overkill, so I decided to go for the cheaper version. But from my first impressions, I am not disappointed with my purchase. I am very much liking this chair. It's comfortable, it looks cool, it's sturdy, it's very well designed, and overall, I am very, very pleased with this chair. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to know whether or not this is the perfect chair for me until I've sat in it for hours upon hours doing video editing and playing games. So depending whether or not this video does well, I might do a follow-up video in a few months' time. So if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and with that i think that's going to be it for another edition of looted shout out to king make adams natasha savage pikafoop and luna on patreon thank you very much for your support and if you like this video hit like if you like all our videos hit subscribe we've got more videos on the way you can also follow us on our social pages and if you want to support the channel further check out the link in the description to our patreon page and you can also join us on our discord server we'll see you guys in the next one have a good one